Hello folks, um, would like to welcome you to a gear oil smelling episode today. Uh, my trusty Anova Hyundai motor gearbox combo here was rattling around something unpleasant um, when I was doing some initial testing on it and found there was very little gear oil in the reduction box. So I took it upon myself to put the two litres of gear oil that I had here into it uh, when probably it only needed one. So um, in true fashion it's managed to vomit what it didn't want uh, out onto the floor here in the trolls of doing 6,000 RPM. Uh, definitely in the days of thunder uh, category here with this thing. Uh, it's supposed to be able to do nine. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to take Harry's advice uh, on this one and stick with six. So basically, what we're going to see here is uh, the motor spinning, spinning up. It's taken a little bit of work to get it to this point. Um, as you've seen there, I was working out the encoder connections, which we successfully achieved. Um, we got the motor spinning open loop pretty easily, just had to connect the inverter up with some improvised uh, connections onto the um, power cables to the motor, spun away fine. Uh, getting a running closed loop was a little bit more of a challenge. Um, we had a lot of noise issues on the encoder. I suspect that it's an encoder bearing uh, rather than an encoder um, separate encoder disc on there. Um, and then they do seem to be more noise prone in the inverter applications. But a little bit of basic um, husbandry there with some of the wiring and putting in some grounds got us a signal that we could work with. Um, up to about 2700 RPMs um, after which the motor would no longer accelerate uh, because the low pass filtering in the inverter was basically uh, bringing the level of the square wave down below a point that the microcontroller could actually recognize. So we had to play around a little bit uh, with the um, with the uh, values of the low pass filtering. But I'm pretty happy now I've got it to a point that I can go to 6000 uh, RPM on the motor, uh, which with a 2.54, I believe to one reduction on there gives us, I don't know what on the prop, but we'll have to work that out. Bad news story seems to be, I might be wrong about this, but the, uh, Drive shaft flange or the prop, the prop, the prop shaft output flange on the gearbox here seems to have a wobble in it. So not sure uh, whether that's only my perception or whether that's real, but the uh, dial gauge will uh, soon tell us that. Um, so I've also managed to cut a track in my shoe here with the flange when I was uh, doing that load test. Um, so other than that, we're getting on pretty well with this thing. Uh, I have a lot of reverse engineering work still to do on the ANOVA inverter, but I just particularly wanted to see whether this motor could actually spin up for us uh, using the Johannes Hubner inverter system. And uh, indeed, it does seem to do so. Uh, so yeah, okay. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's reasonably compact. Uh, it, it's pretty big. Um, you know, it's, it looks to be, um, the gearbox is certainly cast iron construction. Uh, I, I would say, judging by the look of it, I might have to grind away. But that motor could be aluminium, actually, I'm not 100% sure. So I have to have a look at that. But anyway, it works, um, pretty well. So um, we can go ahead and look at some of this stuff now and uh, yeah, let's have a look. Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to start my plot. So right now we are running um, from 
mains transformer. Got about 310 volts on the bus, and um, yeah, let's give her some gentle gas. I'm hunting around 3,300 revs so going up. You see the lights flickering in the workshop when the motor accelerates. I'm hunting between 3,400 and 4,200 RPM right now. More gas, more gas, heading for five grand. Go oh, baby. Heading for six, fifty five hundred. Henry's in gear out of here. There's six grand. Should I? Had to be a smart ass. Alright, so on the scope here, we're seeing the filtered encoder signal as it's been fed uh, to the STM processor. So, bringing on the gas. This guy kicks out 256 pulses per rev, so it's significantly more than the 64 from the Siemens motors that we're more used to. And uh, also seems to be a lot more noise prone. Uh, to do a lot of work um, shortening wires and so on here. So this is our encoder connection here and I've had to shorten down the wires as they connect to the inverter here and I've got to ground off everything um, trying to keep that noise to a minimum. You can just see there on the left um, the way the speed signal is graphing up. Well, let's, let's have a closer look at that. Alrighty, so that's our speed signal. I'm going to do a fresh plot. And we'll do another run here. getting power for the inverter. Uh, this is a large 8 kVA um, isolation transformer. We've got 240 volts coming in, 240 volts coming out. Goes to this rectifier and uh, is turned into I suppose half well full wave rectified um, 
DC and is then fed to the inverter. Not ideal, um, but it's kind of what I got at the minute. Um, this tapping here lets me, well, this thing here is a heating band from an injection molding machine. It's got about a 10 ohm or 8 ohm uh, resistance, so I can choose to have that in circuit or not at the moment. I'm choosing not. Uh, but when I was getting the motor parameters set up, being able to have the, the tap in here and it would limit the current flow uh, from the transformer was very beneficial. Well, okay, folks, uh, there you have it. Um, lots of motor spinning action going on there today. So thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, I will put a link to the parameters file uh, that I've saved for this motor now because, because that did take a good bit of working out. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll probably post it over on DIY Ele Electric Car Forum also uh, just in case people uh, want to do some experiments with one of these motors with the um, open source inverter system uh, so okay um, that's it spinning uh, with a good bit more refinement to, to, to do there uh, but okay all right folks thanks for watching thanks for tuning in thanks for all of your support and subscriptions if you if you haven't subscribed please do so and um, yeah look forward to seeing you guys on the next video